Hello friends. Today I am going to take the total overview of classification of cost. I request all the viewers of my video if you are new to my channel please subscribe the channel by pressing the bell icon so that you will get the latest and updated videos. So dear friends we have already learned the classification of cost by the different phases. This is the last video was my the fourth video of the classification of cost but today I am going to show you all the cost in one chart and in a single chart I am going to cover all the cost with the very very short description or the explanation on each of the element. So let's move to the classification of cost. So dear students here as you can see this is a chart of classification of cost and here we have classified the cost on the basis of nature, on the basis of element, on the basis of controllability, on the basis of time, then by behavior, by function, by normality. So these are the basis on which we have classified the cost. Very first video we have seen classification of cost by nature. Nature means the cost is absolutely either direct or indirect. So when we say direct cost, direct cost is the cost which can be easily identified with the product. It means just at looking at the product you can identify that what are the components of which the product is made. So this cost is called as a direct cost. Indirect cost is just opposite of direct cost. In indirect cost when you look at the product you cannot imagine that this cost will be incurred while manufacturing this product. For example, I can give an example of indirect cost is when you look at a product you cannot imagine that while manufacturing this product the lubrication has been used in the machine. So lubrication becomes the indirect cost or the another example is you cannot imagine that there was a watchman one who was doing his night duty outside the gate of the factory while manufacturing the product. So the salary of that watchman is also included in the product cost but that cost is called as an indirect cost. So when we talk about the element wise classification of cost, the cost is consist of the three basic elements. One is material, second is labor and third is expenses. When we say material cost, it is the cost of material that is actually used while manufacturing the product. For example, while manufacturing the duster, the wood and the cotton used in the manufacturing of duster it will be considered as an cost of material. The second element is labor cost. Labor cost means what? It is the cost which is being given to the person one who is actually working while manufacturing that product or service. So the amount of wages or salaries which are given to the person one who is actually engaged in manufacturing activity so that remuneration wages or salaries given to the labor or the person one who is actually working on the production then that wages salaries or honorarium will be considered as an labor cost expense expenses are the indirect expenses once the product is manufactured whatever the other expenses which are required to be incurred for making the product to be sellable and distributable or to reach that product to the final consumer whatever the expenses that are incurred that expenses will be considered as an expenses. Third classification is classification by controllability. There are two types of expenses under this category one is controllable cost and second is uncontrollable cost. Controllable means this is the cost which you can control for example the company is manufacturing a ball pen but due to this pandemic situation no any student is buying the ball pen company sales has suddenly dropped then company has decided to shut down the manufacturing of that ball pen so in that case whatever the cost was incurred on the product which was not sellable in the market the company has stopped the production of that particular ball pen so the cost has been controlled but 
In the same example, even though you have stopped the production of ball pen, but there are certain expenses which are still incurred on the manufacturing of that particular unit. For example, rent of the factory, the salary of the person one who is actually working in the company, it is still going on. It means that there are certain costs which you do not have a control on it. So these are the costs which can be incurred and they are called as an unavoidable or uncontrollable cost. The fourth classification is by time taken when computed. Now there are two types of cost. One is sunk cost. Sunk means it is a historical cost or the past cost which is already incurred. This cost is irrelevant basically but while taking the future decision the sunk cost data has been observed by the management and then the decision will be taken because whenever we are new in the market we should be able to understand what was the cost which were previously happened or realized when the product was manufactured so that we should avoid the mistakes whatever were happened in the last manufacturing of the product so this is irrelevant cost but it is important while taking the decisions so second is estimated cost estimated means what before manufacturing of any of the product or service we estimate we forecast how much will be the cost of that particular product or service it means that we have certain sort of measurement units on the basis of which we calculate the material labor and other expenses as well as we estimate the other overheads so by estimating or just analyzing how much will be the expenditure that can be incurred while manufacturing a particular product or service so that cost can be called as an estimated cost which will help the management to compare the actual cost with the estimated or the budgeted cost next type of classification is classification by behavior when we say classification by behavior there are three costs one is fixed cost second is variable cost and third is semi variable cost fixed cost is a cost which is remain unchanged or static which is not going to change at any level of output for example either you manufacture 10 articles or 100 articles or 1000 articles the fixed cost will remain same it means that fixed cost is related with the time it means for one month three months six months one year the cost will remain same for that particular period it will not change even if there is no production still fixed cost will incur it means that fixed cost in total remains unchanged that is same but fixed cost per unit changes by the volume of output on the other hand variable cost is the cost which is changes as per the volume of activity it means if the production increases variable cost increases if the production decreases variable cost also decreases it means that variable cost is the cost which is per unit remains same but in total it changes with the volume of output and the third is semi variable semi means it is a cost which is partially fixed and partially variable to explain the semi variable cost let me give an example of telephone bill telephone bill when we buy a telephone for a company the telecom company charges certain fixed amount of rent for a telephone and they are also having a plan for rupees 500 you can able to make 500 calls but if your calls are exceeding 500 then you will be charged 1 rupees per call it means that certain expenses for telephone are fixed but if we exceed that particular level of 500 calls then one call rupees one per unit call will be added to that particular plan it means that your cost will be increased beyond certain period of time or beyond certain level of actual usage of the telephone so that particular cost are called as a semi variable cost the second example you can take an electricity for electricity meter the fixed charges are incurred even though if you are not using the electricity but still you have to pay the rent of the meter which is being provided by the municipal uh, by the electricity corporation but as your you, your consumption increases the cost will also get increased therefore this cost is called as a semi variable cost now we will talk about 
the function wise classification of cost when we say function wise you should try to imagine all the functions which are going to take place in the organization so here some of the functions are being displayed number one is production in the production cost whatever the cost which is required to be incurred in the manufacturing or the production center for example the lubricant oil which is used for machinery the cost of installation of machinery all the direct material direct labor direct expenses all the uh, royalties all such sort of expenses are related with the production and therefore whatever the expenses which are in relation with the production activity are incurred whether they are direct or indirect then all these expenses will be clubbed and these expenses will be called as an production cost now administration cost administrative costs are the cost which are related not related with the production and not related with the selling and distribution but they are entirely related with the office and administration of the entire organization so the few examples of administration cost are cost of printing and stationery then cost of audit fee then cost of cleaning of the office then cost of salaries and the wages which are given to the office staff so all these costs are being generally considered as an administrative cost the third type is selling cost selling cost means the cost which is incurred for selling a particular commodity or service or a product means for selling of any product what is required certain times you require an advertisement sometimes you require an digital boards and that is to be displayed at the uh, main squares of the particular location or that village sometimes you need some sort of pamphlets to be distributed in the local newspaper so whatever the selling activities that you are doing or sometimes the uh, point of sale or point of displays are being displayed by the various uh, various shops so all these are the selling expenses and these selling expenses will be considered as an selling cost now the distribution cost is the cost which is incurred for making product ready from organization to reach that particular product to the final consumer so whatever the expenses which are incurred for from moving product from organization to the final consumer for example there are delivery van expenses are there then the salary of that delivery van driver is also there sometimes you require the packing or the cartage you need to prepare the cartage for uh, transporting the goods from one place to another place so all these costs are called as an distribution cost next is r&d cost r&d stands for research and development cost research and development cost means the cost which is incurred for making the innovation in the existing product and development cost means once the research is made whatever the innovation that you are actually making in the product and just after the development how your product looks like so whatever the expenses that you are doing making the innovation and actually carrying out that innovation into the practice so that costs are called as an research and development cost now pre production cost pre production cost are it simply means the pre testing of the product as you have made some innovation in the product and you wanted to know the reply from the customer whether this innovation is acceptable or not so what you do you manufacture some some sort of pieces of the product you distribute to your local consumers and you take the feedback from them whether this product is acceptable by them or not so whatever the expenses that is being incurred that is before final production of the product so that costs are called as an pre production cost conversion cost conversion means the cost which is incurred for converting the raw material into the final product but in the conversion cost direct material costs are being excluded the reason is when we are converting we are converting the direct material so here material should not be taken into account but for converting what is required you require labor you require machine you require some sort of expenses to be incurred on the machine so all the expenses on the conversion actual conversion of that particular direct material are considered as an conversion cost and it excludes direct material cost prime cost prime cost means it is the addition of three elements that is direct material direct labor and direct expenses the total of these three direct material direct expenses and direct labor the total is called as an prime cost and the last sort of classification is classification by normality 
there are two types of cost one is normal cost and second is abnormal cost normal cost means what it is the cost which could be incurred in the normal level of output so it is natural suppose if you have decided that at the 100% capacity we will manufacture 1000 articles so in the 100% capacity if you manufactured 1000 articles at the particular price range it means that that cost is normal it means for 1000 level of activity it has to be incurred so and so but abnormal cost means while manufacturing 100% level of output you are supposed to manufacture 1000 but your cost has increased due to lockdown or sometimes due to failure in electricity sometimes the strike by the uh, workers in your company so these are the abnormal situations because of which your cost has been increased so these costs are called as an abnormal cost so dear friends we have already covered all the all the classifications even though there are various types of soft, uh, various sorts of cost according to the different different basis so even if you found any of the different name of the cost you can comment me you can just ask me for the same i will be in a position to give the classification or the explanation on that particular type of cost if you like this video please subscribe please share and please like please comment thank you